Hi everyone, um, good day, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you are, because we are all in different time zone. I always kept forget to say that. Anyway, folks, I hope everybody's doing well. It's Saturday, and for those people who celebrate on a Saturday, they're uh, religious, um, whatever, happy Saturday, and um, for the rest of us, um, enjoy your day, okay? So, folks, right now, I'm going to be doing this recipe I'm going to be doing um it entails a lot of stuff and this thing been around in jamaica we've been using this for years 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 under the years um for a while back now and it has to do with a a, a a sauce and it's called um pick a pepper sauce and like i said folks what i know in jamaica you a one little bottle out there is for so much money folks and the people who invented it <laughs> All you know, all people just work there and I make it, and nobody ever tries to make it for themselves. But, folks, here comes the internet, and um, that's a different ball game right now. So, folks, I am gonna be making pick a pepper sauce, and um, it's from Shooter's Hill in Jamaica. Um, that's where it's already, um, yeah, I think it's Shooter's Hill, and this is probably this is in Kingston, yeah, it said, um. And this the pick. I'm reading the pickle pepper bottle. Um, pickle pep, pickle pepper of Jamaica Company Limited. Um, and this is the original one they say, and this was done in what year? Let me see if I can find the year that this was done in. Um, let's see. Well, anyway, you know it was back in the day there, right? So, um. Anyway, um, it entails a lot. Um, you go through a lot of process, and basically how they do it in Jamaica, you know, the company is made and it stay in a barrel for about a year. It's the same process I think have to do like if you make brandy and at the age. So when you see you get a pick of pepper come to you sometime, that's been aging for a while. So anyway, since I don't have a barrel, I'm just gonna do it and put it in a bottle and um put it away. So basically, folks, this is what pick of pepper look at, look like. Okay. You see, can you see the bottle there? That's what pick a pepper looks like. Okay? And what it tells in it, folks, is a, um, no wonder it is so good. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So, folks, um, the ingredients are mango peel, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, not a lot, tomatoes, clove, garlic, molasses. And when you use molasses, folks, please forget the molasses that is um on sulfur on sulfur no sulfur is in it because most molasses people don't know sulfur is in it so get unsulfurated one okay um so salt and cracked pepper um white vinegar um orange peel scallion raisin and carrots that is a, a lot of stuff there folks so basically all you do it all of these stuff is peeled and I'm um, blending the blender or if you have a food processor that's fine oh brown sugar is also um there too folks sorry um and once it blend up folks um you're gonna burn some sugar in the pot and then once the sugar is um burn not gonna burn black or stick up in the pot it's gonna be burned but still as that um consistency there um that you because you're gonna add everything now and it's gonna cook for a few minutes and you let it cool and you bottle it okay so that is what um, pick a pepper is all about. So, folks, I'm gonna go um, chop everything up, then come back, and we we'll take it from there. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, you know what? There's so much going on here with this um, recipe. So right now, um, I a few things I cut chop. We have some. We have the ginger, the garlic, tomato, um, carrots, thyme, green onion, and a bit of celery. And we have also the scotch bonnet pepper. And we have the onion. Um, we have raisin and all of this that going to be using. And I think salt and pepper go later on. And Okay. So basically, folks, um, I just want to give you an idea how to... Um, Okay, we're gonna be using a mango and we're just gonna be using the skin of the mango, okay? Just the skin of a, a mango, ripe or, you know, this is ripe, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because you're going for flavor. So make sure you have a mango that is properly washed 
or preferably you can get an organic because there's places right now lots of organic place so you get an organic ma mango but still wash it still wash it okay so this is the skin of the mango we're using here right now the rest of this i'm just gonna um, freeze it for my one of my smoothie or um you know because i nothing go to i always have everything i use it goes for something else what left so and that's how a good cook should be you know i peel the mango and the mango flesh you can use that for um a smoothie okay so this is basically the mango skin right here the orange now we're just gonna get use the zest from the orange okay and don't let it get down to the white part because you know then that will get bitter okay and we don't want to have that so i'm just gonna use one of my small um little grater to do that Uh, many different ones with every different thing. So right now I'm just gonna do the zest of the orange. I just want to do it on a plate because um, the cutting board is um, gonna be a little bit. Um, so other than that, um, everything else is ready to go, and we have our raisin there. Um, um, some cloves. Um, I think cloves. We need cloves, and the salt gonna come later. So. Um, once they're cooked down, we're gonna put salt to taste and um, we have sugar ready here, cane sugar, okay? So right now, let me just do the zest of the orange. And we don't wanna get down to um, the white part, where it's, um, just get the zest off, that's it. And for the orange, you can heat it or, you know, make juice with it or whatever. Nothing, like I said, nothing goes to waste. So all of this stuff, folks, um, we've been buying for years, and I use all of this a lot. I make this a few times already. Oh, that's the rest of mine. So basically, um, once I, I when I come to do a video, I make sure I the stuff I'm doing I done it before. So I, you know, I make this um, for a while, and I'm making my own pickled pepper and my own all of that pepper. So this is I just thought why well, just do a video on it for people. You know, oh, why not, folks? You can do stuff for yourself to save some money. Nothing wrong with that, right? As if people who own these companies, um, we don't, you know, we just work as a um, worker for them. We're not making anything there. And I know right now, <laughs> you know, the minimum wage in Jamaica is what? You know, the people make this, come up with this. Our own people show them how to do these things. And they, um, you know, and like as I heard that in Jamaica, they pick up pepper, the red one, that sauce. At night, the, the whole guy who owned it, he went and do it because he didn't want anybody to see, to get access to the recipe. So, you know, so there you go. And we just so fastly willing anybody come. How do you make this? How do you make that? And we're telling them every, right down to the last bit when you turn around. Um, they're going to have a restaurant that have the product up there, packing and um. You know, so folks, we need to wise up, wise up, wise up, wise up. We Jamaican people have so much um, knowledge and so much thing in our cooking. And a lot of time, get know that. The same with um, this company, I'm not going to mention the name, but they go all over the, the so-called third world and just make sure that they pick the people brain. And they are one of the biggest beauty company right now, you know. Everything from, from yeah, like aloe vera. It's one of the things that we call single bag. We ignore it. Um, some of us ignored for years or didn't know the benefit. And today that's a billion dollar mar hundred billion dollar market. Almost everything is in aloe, aloe vera, what we call single bible. So folks are um, and I think it's a lack of support. We supporting each other folks. So we gotta start supporting each other and you know, make some money for ourselves now of our own culture. Everybody else is making money from our own culture except us. Right down to reggae music. Okay, folks. And so right now I'm gonna get everything in the blender. Um and who knows? Somebody could call this pick up pepper start Jamaican style, you know, um uh, yeah, they could could start make some of this or call it um 
you just have to put the style you know you can say exactly jamaican because that's what they were doing for years making a, even the excelsior crackers folks and that was when manly was in power and um people complained and said no these people are you and they were saying oh, jamaican this and jamaican as one jamaican they just slapped jamaican name on it so we need um politician who is willing to protect our culture and that's the whole idea right here folks yeah and i think one man is stepping in so right now anything you see they how they it have to say they have jamaican style party jamaican style crackers you cannot say jamaican and it's michael manley let that happen back in the day i'm not being political but i'm just telling it like it is folks yeah they was putting everything jamaican this jamaican that when they're um you know nothing was i mean i think it's still going on now but people not aware you know so yeah everybody want to benefit from our culture they don't like us but they want to benefit from us you know and we and it's up to us to stop that because if we start supporting um our own products our own culture then they will have trouble um, making any money off of it and i'm just saying my piece there because sometimes it just grieves me to see the things that we could accomplish and the well that we were supposed to have but we um just sit back and let everybody else because we have leaders that um is so crooked you know all they care about is just to sell us all out so folks i'm just gonna add stuff to it now i'm gonna add the garlic i might be doing it uh the ginger it doesn't have to go in any particular order um the carrots gonna go in and for the time folks i use dry time if you use the if you use some green time make sure you don't put any stick in it you know um you know but the dry time would be more uh, a lot better to do to use okay so i'll put in and fresh garlic if you can get your fresh scotch bonnet peppers everything fresh and this, if you know for you us here if you want to try it here right now everything is fresh in the store so um some green onions yes folks we have such oh when it comes to food in in um, jamaican culture and i'm just talking about jamaican alone and not the whole caribbean because we all have good food and stuff we should be um just doing everything for ourselves but we should have some of the biggest um food processing plants and stuff in in jamaica right now yeah because we have it all we have it all folks we have it all and that's what we don't understand the creator put us here and he gave us everything everything but we don't seem to realize that because we're looking for short-term goal and we're looking for everything out of our supermarket and that's going to be the dead of us the, yesterday i was watching um this guy in jamaica uh, he has a show andre and um, somebody calling and telling that where the farm workers are working, the tomatoes um, and a lot of the apples and stuff, they have machine to ripe them. They could come in today green and ripe tomorrow. And he, Andre was shocked. He, like, he didn't realize that. That's a worldwide thing. You know, um, you have machine to ripe, um, to ripe fruits and vegetables. You know, that's why when I go to the store and I'm going to buy ripe banana, I go into the green banana section where i can get the banana that start to ripe because the thing about banana it's been gassed and that's the word for it so if you want the one that you get a gas or ungassed banana gas banana is where they they ripe it it doesn't ripe normally they ripe it so i never buy banana some a guy told me i just dreadlock guy told me this you're right in canada i was in the supermarket and he said um do not buy those ripe banana i said why well, i said go to where the green banana is down there and the one that would start to write by them because the one up there those are called gas because they use um i don't know if the gas or what as part of the proceeds to do but it tells you there that gas or ungas and i tell you something you live and learn and that's how i know buy the green banana when it's just slowly started to write okay folks i have about this is about what um okay two cups two cups of um vinegar and folks make sure that it's um white distilled vinegar because that's what you need for that okay and um sometimes i forgot things that's why i keep so much um 
of my stuff written down so I can also reflect it. So one mango, two onions, pepper, tomato, garlic, molasses come later. I'm just looking for all this thyme, orange peel, carrots, I am just looking for all this stuff that goes in um, right now. Yeah, because I just want to get it perfect, even though I've done, done it so many times. You know, so this is it. I, I'm a perfectionist, people. <laughs> I, I'm a perfectionist. Okay, so basically, um... everything is there so what I'm gonna do uh, everything owned all at once so I'm just gonna add in other stuff the peppers and other stuff and the onions so if I want to start going it, it, it go it just um, go down so I just keep adding so folks a little bit of noise right now okay making a funny noise and this is another one I exchanged it for when this done I am just gonna buy a different brand <laughs> they are talking about my uh, my blender year folks I had one a few months ago and conk I had to take it back and um, now I'm hearing this and I don't want to hear that you know I, I don't want to hear that right now because uh, you know so that's why sometimes they say folks expensive stuff doesn't you know um uh, this is an expensive brand, even though I got it on sale. And this is the second one in this year, folks. So if this one comes out, that's it. I go buy a cheap one. You know, and as I say, done with that. Nonsense. I heard it making a funny noise right now. And, um, you know, I should have used my food processor. Like I said, I have a food processor for 25 years, no problem. So I'm just going to add in the pepper. And these are scotch bonnet pepper guys, and only three, only three, because it's you know it have eat, but they're not a lot of, because this is the pickup, this is this one here, so you don't need a lot of um pepper in it. The smell of the peppers is awesome. I got this one from a guy um who grows them organically, and I and you know right this time of year he sell a lot of kalaloo, so. Um, Jamaica I have competition for Kalaloo this time of year because when I go into the store all yesterday's pure Kalaloo um, from Ontario because you have um, you know a lot of and you know I, I, I support that big time because a lot of it is grown by our yard you know so this time of the year lots of Kalaloo I, I buy about six bands and they're soaking right now to cut them up pack in my freezer for the winter no, no spray. Natural stuff. Okay, I'm gonna add in um, the onions now. I hope it doesn't overflow because I still have to add the um. The smell, folks, is awesome. I'm actually to take out of this. Um, the smell is awesome. Um, it's about um, a cup of raisin, which I'm just gonna eyeball that. Because I'm so good. I've done these things so many times, but I'll put the exact for you guys in there. Um, yeah. Let me see. I hope it doesn't come up. Because it's gonna be cooked on the fire and I wanna get it as smooth as possible. 
let's see wow folks awesome awesome pick up pepper on the way i'm gonna let it just crunch down a little bit more wow i hope you guys all try it i'm gonna pause now possible okay right now um well there's so much thing on my counter over here i'm gonna be working here next so um, just ignore all of this stuff when i come over here folks uh, <laughs> i am saying it when I'm working, my workspace is always like this. Pick up a few of these stuff and um, we're going to go over to the stove right now because we're going to be doing the next part. So folks, I'll be right back, okay? Hi guys, okay, I'm back. One of the things I forgot to put to add to it is the molasses that need to be blended out so i'm just gonna add that to it so and it's folks like i said when you get molasses make this one is um organic um i think it's only organic it's unsulfured so it has to say unsulfured because that's one of the most that's one of the main thing in preserving um molasses sulfur okay folks so make sure your thing red said unsulfured so i need two spoon and it's thick and rich two spoon of molasses so make sure it said on sulfur because you don't need to be um you know for years a lot of us people you see a lot of us never used to read label or anything folks so you know and this is um you have to sort of give the internet some credit for that because that's where people started educating people about products and things and um you know what is involved in it because i you know normally i don't really use a lot of molasses back in the day so you know it's just since i started cooking i'm using it and um and this is when i found out about that sulfur is the main preservative in um molasses so spend the extra couple bucks folks and buy uh, organic because i think it's the only organic product right now um molasses as um their thing on sulfur no sulfur in it so what you will see on the bottle it will say on sulfur and that means there is no sulfur in it and that's you know right away that is um organic stuff okay i tell you you, you learn a lot um they, uh, like i said youtube's have some bad but mainly folks it has a lot of good there because it's a learning channel also folks so if um people up there who is just it's not just up there to shake your booty and dance and um, cuss out each other or whatever it's there's many things, <coughs> excuse me, the pepper, to be learned on YouTube. There's a lot of good there, a lot of good, you know, so that's my little piece. So I'm just going to um, blend it up a bit so the molasses will make it because this one is supposed to start, by the time the sugar, you get to the sugar, it's supposed to be start getting um, a darker um, shade, okay? So that little part, I just went by, so I'm just going to have that. Um, and just blend that in okay um so here we go you see it's gonna start to get dark once the malat there once the malat is added and it's even gonna get darker once we have the sugar going Okay, folks sound like see perfect okay so I'm just gonna bring this over here so folks we'll have everything here going in one minute okay okay folks I'm back and um we are gonna get the show on the road so we need about a couple and a half 
sugar to be burnt and I'm gonna use very, use very dark sugar very dark sugar folks because the whole idea of that um, is to be um, darkened so I'm gonna have about um, a cup and a half to, to two cups um, of sugar to be um, burnt and um, this process you have to be very careful folks because you don't want it to be too um, to burn up with black 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 we still want it have it um as a liquid form okay so i'm gonna put the sugar in right now and it's gonna start to melt and as i say we don't want to have it um I want the stuff to be too high i want the sugar to be liquefied um but not um burn burn black okay we just want to get it um to a liquid then we can um, proceed with the um, second part of the process. So the sugar right now has to melt. You know, normally I know people do brown meat and stuff like this back home. I see my grandmother do it. And a lot of times, you know, they didn't have the browning and the brown sugar was used. Um, So, and that's another thing that, that we invent. I tell you, we're very inventive people, folks. Very inventive. Very creative. So, I want to get this down really to a liquid form. It's, um, you know, melt, not crystallize in the pot, um, you know. About the same technique where I do my curry. <laughs> you know, everybody said, burn the curry. I said, no, you just cook your curry. And that's it. And the clothes, folks, I just use um, powdered clothes. Yeah, I just, okay. Um, I'm going to just let this, yeah. I want next to no heat on it right now. So I just had some powder, powder clothes because that's the same way it would be getting anyway. It would have to be form of powder, you know. See, this is the part where you have to be careful. to get this otherwise my smoke detector will go off like crazy I love it that it's you know it's working but sometimes it can be um so this is the part this is how we want to get the sugar to this level then folks right now we're gonna start adding in gonna bring back up the heat and let's just add the whole um See? Uh, that's what we need. That's what we need. And just add all of this to it. And folks, I think I'm going to get away from that stove because my walls not going to be, yeah. Because the sugar is going to make a bit of splash. So I'm going to get from over here. Just turn this one off.
so I'm gonna yeah come over to yeah this too because that one is close to the wall and um it's crazy very very crazy Is a very dark sugar. So, folks, once that cooked, I will come back and cool down. Okay. So, so guys, this is the pickle pepper bubbling right now. Everything is in. The salt is added. Um, everything is in it, and it's just cooking right now. Now, in the next ten minutes, it should be ready. See, that's it right there, folks. That's pickle pepper. Shooters ale, pick up pepper. No, style. Pick up pepper, <laughs> style. We have to say style, right? Yeah. So, this is a pick up pepper. They are simmering down right now, folks. Look at that. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot of work, yes, folks. But, um, it, I mean, this is several bottles here right now. One bottle, that bottle I buy was $5. $5 in the store plus tax. Say, run it to six. Um, this. You know, the normal bottles that come from, yeah, this is a um, five ounces, which is 148 milliliters. Um, six, I, I would say six dollars. This, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting more than one bottle out of that, right? Yeah, so folks, and it's the same thing. I'm not putting anybody out of business, but folks, um, it's nice, and they have to have some preservative in that to preserve it to keep it on the shelf. Which I, you know, the vinegar might, let me see what's there. I didn't even look at it to see what's in it. Um, vinegar has to be one of the first thing in it. Um, where's the ingredients? Yeah, vinegar. So this doesn't have to go inside the, the um, fridge, you know? And it has no fat, no, um, no protein. It only have um, five calories, folks. <coughs> I guess, excuse me, to a bit little drop you do. So it's vinegar, sugar, tomato, onion. Same thing I use, raisin. I use um thing salt, uh, MLA salt, ginger, pepper, garlic. Folks, you know, thyme, mango, and orange peel. Folks, I didn't even look on the bottle. <laughs> Yeah, there's a friend give me this recipe. I didn't even look on the bottle. I've been doing this for years. Funny, right down to the tea, folks. Everything I put in here is there. So, this is pick up pepper right here. So, I didn't, honestly, folks, my friend gave it, me the combination for a while now. I've been doing it, and I didn't even look. I never look on the bottle. And, you know, I have about three of these bottles because I use them a lot. But, um, it doesn't seem to have any, um... folks it's um the vinegar that's what keeps it um it doesn't have any no no sulfite this or sulfite that's all and it says gluten glutidine free or whatever well it's because you know we use almost two cups of vinegar so that's what preserve it no it's it's a good brand folks um no preservative in it pick a pepper so keep using your pick a pepper i am happy for that no preservative in it no sulfite, no so no nothing. It's but you know the um well then again from the um they use molasses. So well you know it's up to people who are uh, yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of these people making these products now are gonna be going with um leaving out um the sulfite molasses because Jamaica can make your own sulfite and what will own um molasses anyway, right? So this is it. So mine is dead to the tea as that folks, right on to the tea. I uh, you know, that, that made me feel so good because I'm telling you folks, my friend, give me the ingredients and I never look at this bottle. Yeah, the same thing right on to the last thing I put in it. That's what's in. I am very hot, proud of myself for that one. Anyway, folks, that's it right there. Um, Like I said, the only preservative, the only thing would come into play in there is from the molasses. If it... If they use unsalt for molasses, then that's good. Otherwise, everything is natural stuff in there. You know, so there you go. Big up yourself, pick up pepper. 
Shoot as hell, pick up pepper in Jamaica, big up yourself. And folks, go buy it, support all the workers down the yard, okay? Pick up, I'll make your own. You can make, you can, I do both, folks. I make my own, but I still have the, I have about four bottles right now because I use it a lot. You know, so. When mine run out, because it's not all the time, I, 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 I want to have the time to make it. That's why I always keep stuff, but I make sure that, you know, so. There you go. So, folks, this is Pika Pepper. So, right now, this is done. And I'm going to let it cool. And then, <coughs> pepper. And I only use three peppers, folks. <coughs> okay, we'll be right back. So, guys, it's done. And I'm back for the bottling. And to show you all of the stuff that's involved in it. It's a lot of stuff. That's why it's so good, folks. Um, so, if you're gonna make it and want to get the best result you have to use all of these ingredients because this is a very very special thing so folks this is what it got boils down to this is it right here okay so i'm gonna bottle it um and, and let it cool and as they say, you enjoy it, okay? One momento. That's what it's all about, okay? So I'm just grabbing a, another bottle because, yeah, you know? Folks, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Okay? Appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. Yes, guys. So, okay, let's, let's bottle it. You know, um, a lot of people make their own homemade stuff because I think my grandmother used to make this also. So, folks, um... I hope I don't get it too messy going down in the bottle, you know. So, I like I say, the pickup pepper coming in Jamaica, this thing is cured for about a year. So, they constantly must have a large amount, you know. Yeah, because when I went in and do the research on it, and it's and it's put away in a barrel. Yeah, in, in one of those barrels that you would get. Um, yeah, that's what it's, um, so it's like it's really cured. So, when you buy it in the store, so. This is the same thing I'm going to do to mine right now. Put this away. I have some uh, make already what I'm using. Um, like I said, I normally make this all the time for myself. So this is it. So the longer you keep the, it, um, when you make it, the longer you have it, it's the better, you know? So that's it. So I just thought i you know, share this with um, you guys because it's, it's, it's the same result. When I, like I said, I've never read the bottle before the ingredients and it's the same stuff in there guys my friend had given me this a long time ago and i you know i do it all the time like i said a lot anything you see i put up there folks i always make most of them there's not very few things i don't make myself um you know um a lot of things i do on the channel i make and use okay so folks um that's pick up pepper right there jamaican style pick up pepper and folks this is the original one from yard okay and these are what all involved in it folks um scallion scotch bonnet pepper not a lot about two or so uh, um tomatoes thyme carrots some carrots some tomato, onions, white onion, very nice sweet white onion, garlic. It's it's a good thing, you know. Anything up from fine yard is good. Um, green scallion, orange, folks, ginger, man mango skin. Okay, and then after have your raisin, your thyme, your clove. 
the brown sugar and unsulfured organic if possible because you know something folks the organic one isn't much uh, um it's just a few dollars different from the one with the sulfur so make sure you get this one and most important thing in it folks is the vinegar white vinegar and salt um and you can use sea salt i i love my emelian salt so um you know emelian salt in it but use any salt you 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 have I, you, well i shouldn't say have because if you want to get the best result in anything to make it very good you have to use good stuff you have to use the good stuff so sea salt if you want or emelian salt um uh, i wouldn't go with uh, um they are other salt there. So these are all the things, folks. There's a lot of things in it. Okay. Um, and now the semi here stuff are very uh, cheap in the store. So this is the original one here, folks. Then make them pick a pepper. I keep a bottle of it um, or two at home. So, folks, that is Shooter L Jamaican pick a pepper style. And you hear I'm saying style, folks, because <laughs> I don't want to come off of me, okay? yeah so that is style and folks you cannot tell the difference you cannot tell the difference like i said one that bottle there i pay six dollars for um it was 5.99 plus and you know maybe a different place but i'm not gonna run around all over to look for the cheapest thing when the cheapest thing is here i buy it yes but um that one was 5.99 plus tax okay so folks this is pick up pepper from jamaica and it's done by the company shooters hill um this is the style this is why i follow the you know it's i think it's shooters hill shooters hill shooters. yeah in jamaica and this is the original um recipe here we're using folks the original recipe yeah it's um shooters hill road in um pick up pepper limited shooters hill road and this is in um shooters hill this is in manchester in Manchester, Jamaica, folks, uh, Deacon, you better go give me thumbs up. My buddy Deacon is in Manchester, live in Manchester. So Deacon, big up yourself with a your pick of pepper. And you know what? Everybody big up yourself. Um, Solji, big up yourself. And go support Solji and, and Jamie Hood with um, Fire and Richard Brown at Richard Bond Films, okay? So, folks, um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day. And thanks for supporting the channel, okay? All right, you take it easy. Oh, St. Thomas, big up yourself. Just like the rest of Jamaica, but St. Thomas is my, my party. So, me have to big up St. Thomas. So, I'll big up a few people. Up of, um, Port, Chapel, Port Martin, big up yourself. Martin Bay, big up yourself. Bowden, big up yourself. Peachy River, big up yourself. Um, Duckensfield, um, Dalvi, Barking Lodge, all them places. I mean, Yerry Castle, Bat, big up yourself. Sunny Hill, big up yourself. All St. Thomas, Trinityville, all the bogles from Trinityville to Mark Bay, big up yourself. Big up the whole um, parish, you know. St. Thomas, all right? And big up the whole of Jamaica, too. Peace, I'm out.